Hi, this is Lindsay and welcome back to my channel. I have a special journal to share with you today. This one is for Kimberly and she sent me a box of goodies and I just want to thank you very much for all of them. I love them so much. And here, if my gestures aren't matching my voice, I'm doing a voiceover because I needed to correct a couple of the things that um, I was saying that was misinformation. <laughs> um, so anyway, the cover is bright and cheery with these blues and greens and a couple splashes of pink. And the co cover photo, not photo, but image, it right there is from Christy Art on Etsy. I love the cute little couple. It says, A Glimpse of Heaven. That's a Tim Holtz sticker. And I just did some decorative stitching. It almost looks like a four-leaf clover or some flowers. And then I just added some random pieces of trim and lace. There's a dark blue closure, and we can get on in the inside. I added this big... Um, what's it called envelope to the front and it's kind of like this gold foiled and this little coffee dyed paper here with a Hobby Lobby stamp on the front and um, a little place to put name address or something like that in it and that can just slip in and out so over here you could put a photo or something on the first page and it's, sometimes it's kind of hard to see with the camera, but this is copy dyed sprayed and you can see a little bit of a doily imprint um, in the back. There's a little bit of coffee and glimmer mist in there. So it is a really unique and pretty um, spray effect. On the other page, we have a big pocket and a little sticker that I got on sale at Hobby Lobby. I got two sheets for like 50 cents, but I love these flower stickers. And then there's just... Um, some different pieces of ephemera in here there's a little flip with some really pretty stitching i think this is a tim holtz paper and this was from one of those smash books that tuesday morning was selling a while a while ago and then some little tickets that say adore and a vintage rolodex card tuck there's a hobby lobby stamp on there and some vintage um, game cards flinch and rook and this page here is 1950s it's a children's book and it's about writing letters and the proper way to do that I've put a whole bunch of little stamps throughout. Here's a big tuck spot. I have two little hearts punched out there. And then I made some journaling cards with some scrapbook paper, coffee dyed paper, and more of those flowers um, that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. And I did stitch around those as well. Coffee dyed ribbon, lots of pretty coffee dyeing and sprayed effects. And a little bit of washi there as well. Um, I'm loving this new stamp from Hobby Lobby, and there's a Tim Holtz sentiment there at the bottom. And there's some Digital Collage Club and Cool Mom uh, Book Boutique printables here. And the stamp up at the top says this music belongs to, and I got that at Hobby Lobby as well. Because there's music paper over here, I thought that was fitting. More stamp or stickers from Hobby Lobby. And the journaling card here, I printed out a seed catalog cover from 1899 and backed it with copy dyed paper, made a little ribbon um, paper clip there, and index card. And that's also from Christy Art. I just stamped on it. It coordinates with the image on the front. And these frame stamps that I've been doing throughout some lace, pretty scrapbook paper, just my usual. Um, I love this little music paper. It's in a small little music book um, with Brahms music, and I just made a little sewn envelope with it. I put in two Dollar Tree tickets just to kind of show that you could put movie tickets or receipts or something in there to tuck away. This beautiful vintage print of a, little, a lady in the garden, and I backed it with some paper from Allure Book Crafts. I did an Etsy archaeology series on her. And here's a little Edith Holden print, and that's a tuck spot. And this is from Above Par Crafts, and it looks like it came from a library. I love how it has some perforations, and it would be really, really neat to journal on. On the other side, I flipped it over, added an extra paper clip, because you can never have too many of those. And here's a little collage and um, of some fabric and trim and stitching. Some Project Life cards that I inked up and stamped. This is from Calico Collage. It's from her Fairy Garden book. Um, it says, Today is a perfect day to find your dreams or something like that. <laughs> Some Graphic 45 stamping and Tim Holtz sentiments in the middle. So there's lots and lots of room for journaling. 
beautiful coffee dyed paper. This is vintage suitcases. It's a scrapbook paper pad and I turned it into a bookmark, added a little bit of lace on the top, clipped it on with a teeny tiny little paper clip. And this is perforated. It kind of, you know, unperforated, came apart, but I hinged it with some washi so you can hinge it open and write on it or you could rip it all the way off and you could tuck it somewhere else. There's some Tim Holtz found relatives, and then this little card I got from Tuesday morning, and it says date and thankful for, so it's just a great journaling prompt. You could put photos or whatever. Some vintage um, book pages. This one is like a reprint, like a 1980s reprint of a Sears catalog. It has violins on it, and then this is the one on top is a French-English dictionary part, and it's sewn and um, stitched and glued it to the top, so you could either journal over the top one with a dark black pen or marker and then underneath there's lots of room to either hide something or journal. A little butterfly die cut and that does make a tuck spot. Little label and sentiment there I think it says home. Little stitched um, list pad there. One of my butt or paper flowers. Didn't put a button on that one. Here's a journaling prompt, my favorite weather and I did some stitching and inking on that big piece of washi tape and a sticker down there at the bottom it says make a wish and then um, this is coffee dyed and sprayed and inked and stitched and glued and so there's room to just uh, journal down the side of this uh, teal music paper there's a really pretty foiled tuck spot and this is also from above par crafts it's like a perpetual calendar and then um, this is a file of facts um, it's from 2006 so it's not quite vintage yet but in a few years it will be and it says information Lots of more journaling space, a little collage with a flower and some lace. That's from Seneca Pawn Crafts. I turned it into a tuck spot. It's like a little file folder, and on the side I put a little sentiment. Pretty Hobby Lobby stamps that I just got. And then in the back I added this little page flag um, file folder thing that I had, and I thought it would be cute, so you had page flags to add throughout. And there's my stamp and the end. So I hope that you have enjoyed this journal. And um, I really enjoyed making it. I think it came together really well. And as always, have a wonderful crafty day.